Please pray with me. Dear Lord, we come into this sacred space, mindful of the generations of faithful who have come before us, adults and children, certain and questioning, men and women, hopeful and despairing. We, we give thanks for the welcome all receive from you, dear Lord, and for the ways we continue to be enfolded into this community. Amen. Please be seated. Today is All Saints Day. And what comes to mind for you when we talk about saints? How would you define a saint in only a few words? Well, one of my favorite definitions is in the hymn in our hymnals called I Sing a Song of the Saints. And this is what it says in one of its verses. For the saints of God are just folk like me, and I mean to be one too. I want that to sink in for a moment. They're talking about us, ordinary people living ordinary lives, just like all of us here at Christ Church in Warwick. We are all children of God by virtue of baptism and in God's eyes, all of equal status. And it says in the book of Lesser Feasts and Fasts, the church is the communion of saints. That is, a people made holy through their mutual participation in the mystery of Christ. To call something holy is to say that it belongs to God. For something to be God's means that it is set apart for God's purposes in this world, that it is filled with God's Spirit, that it is cherished by God. <clears throat> To say that we are holy as saints, then, means that we all belong to God. Our lives are part of God's purpose for His kingdom. Now, what is the common thread that knits us together in one communion and fellowship? It is baptism. The sacrament by which we are named is Christ's own forever. We are set apart and made holy in baptism, and we become members of the communion of saints. We are all saints, to be sure. We are God's holy saints. Remember that always. You are one of God's holy saints, and it is His purpose that you are here and part of His kingdom. We are saints from the day of our baptism. Oh yes, we are still sinners to be sure, weak and human. Yet we are saints because we have been touched by God. Those saints of days past answered God's call in extraordinary ways. They opened themselves up completely to the gifts of God's grace with the support of a Christian community wherever it was. <clears throat> and what are the saints in this present time? We need to be connected to the stories of our whole community, past and present, in order to understand how we too can effectively minister and be God, part of God's saints in this broken world today. I would guess that each and every one of you can name persons who have significantly encouraged you and strengthened you in your daily walk with God. Not famous people, not celebrities, but those ordinary ones who loved and inspired you to become more fully human in the sight of God. For me, it was my grandmother. And I remember when I told her 
that I was moving from the Methodist church to the Episcopal church, and I was quite fearful of this simple woman on a farm in South Georgia, wouldn't understand, and she immediately said to me, did you know that the Methodist church was founded by two Episcopal priests? She immediately found the thing that connected us, not the thing that divided us. She has encouraged me from that day forward. When I look back on people who've lifted me up, saints long gone in heaven. And now, as many of you have known and read about all week, there are 11 more saints in heaven, all from the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Ordinary people doing an ordinary thing on Sunday morning, going to their house of worship. So often when these events happen, I'll have a memorial service here, and I put that beautiful urn there, and people place candles in it, and we light it, and we have beautiful prayers and music, and we all come together in a cathartic moment. And I've done that way too many times. And it doesn't seem to make much difference. Don't know if you guys have noticed thoughts and prayers, important as they are, they don't seem to always have an impact on this kind of tragedy. So I'm going to ask you to do something different this time. I'm going to ask each and every one of you to remember these people in your thoughts and prayers, but to go a step farther. I want you to think of 11 acts of kindness that you can do above and beyond what you normally do out there in this world. I want you intentionally for look, to look for 11 opportunities. And in this way, remember those people who have now become saints in heaven. In the prayers of the people today, we will pray for people who have died and that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom. And I'm going to ask William to linger just a little longer over that silence so that we can remember those 11 from the Tree of Life Synagogue, but also people like my grandmother, people in your lives that have touched us, the saints that we know that are in heaven again today. These, you see, are the saints which, as that great hymn I already quoted says, we meet in the schools and in the lanes and at sea and in church, in trains or shops or at tea. These are the saints of God, too, just like folks like you and me. Many of these people that you are going to remember during that prayer time were members here at Christ Church, no doubt, regular people just like you and me that supported this community with their time, their talent, and indeed their treasure, volunteering, worshiping, and pledging from the day they joined this parish. We remember them with all those loved ones in our own lives, those saints whose stories are knit together with ours as we mark this All Saints Day. And we remember every time we renew our baptismal vows that we are acknowledging exactly who we are and who we belong to. Repeating those words again in community, we are reminded of the commitment that we made or our parents made for us when we became a Christian and how we are strengthened for the journey we travel together. Remember, folks, that you are God's. And on this day, we will remember, like I said, the 11 who died at the Tree of Life Synagogue last weekend. And we will do our best to remember these new saints with our acts of kindness, large and small. You and I are called to be persons through whom the light of love shines. 
We are called to discover in others the image of God, even those we find difficult to deal with or who hurt us. In baptism, we receive the light of Christ to be saints according to God's purpose. And by the grace of God, all of this is possible. Amen.